Hello, my friends. I would like to start this video by showing you the dried result of the swipe you're about to watch. I want you to see this now because I struggled quite a bit to get it to this point, and I don't want you to give up on me in, in the middle of the video. So here's the end result, and I think it's quite pretty. Some of these areas here and here remind me of stained glass, and I'm, I'm quite happy with the final piece. And look how pretty the sides look. Lovely. So, before we get to that, I have something else to share with you. My friend Nilda suggested I put together some books of my embellished pores, and so I thought that was a great idea, and here is volume one. Most of these paintings have sold, but it's a way for me to remember them and enjoy them still. Let me quickly go through it with you. Some of them were painted before I had a channel, and you probably never saw them. But um, I'm quite pleased with the way this came out as well. Some of them I had to crop. This was quite a bit larger, but I zoomed in on both of these, in fact, so the main character could be seen more clearly. And, yeah, it's a nice variety of topics, <laughs> all my contact info there. They are available for purchase for $50, which includes tax and shipping in the United States. So if you're interested in one of these, contact me at chrissypaints at yahoo.com and we'll make it happen. If it's successful, I may do future volumes because I have done a lot of embellished pours over the years. So thank you for indulging me and now let's get to today's video. Okay, my friends, I'm back and ready to swipe. I'm using Artist Loft Ready Mix pouring paints today, but I have extended them with a glue and Floetrol mix. I'll put the details down below, as always. I, I really like the effect I get uh, swiping when I extend them with that mix. So uh, let's see what happens. My colors are white, titanium white, Turquoise, um, Magenta Deep, and then I did a couple of mixes. I took the turquoise and I wanted to lighten it, so I added some gold. I thought that might be fun, but it, it, it didn't lighten a whole lot, so I added a little bit of white too. So it's just a little darker or lighter shade of the turquoise. And then I did deep yellow to which I also added some white to lighten it. It's a pretty butter yellow color, I would call it. And my swipe color is the leftovers. Some I had scraped up from the surface. I think I used this in a previous video in the round one I did. or I'm not sure, but anyway, it, it's a br it came out to be a beautiful brown mix, and that's going to be my swipe color. I've added two drops of silicone to the brown only. And my swipe tool is going to be this piece of um, page divider. It's just a very lightweight plastic. Gives me good coverage, I think, I hope. So here we go. Um... I'll just lay down some white at either end, put the colors in the, in the center. Mm. I'll come back to that. I'm going to add the colors in this area and then add whatever white I have left over there. And I think I'll just do kind of a, a this. Here 
here's that weird, the strange blue I mixed up. And deep magenta. Now this is a little scary. I, I'll probably get a bit of an orange when the yellow mixes with it, and I think that could be fun because orange is the complementary color of blue, of course, and so it should work. Hmm. Though I admit it looks pretty crazy right now. <laughs> okay. Now I'll fill in with the white. I am going to tilt it to get a smooth coverage and uh, fill in any gaps. Okay. It's going nicely over the sides there. swipe this? Where am I going to put the swipe color? Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. I meant to leave it a channel. Um, I think I'll, I'll just start right around here. May, I may end up swiping a couple of times. We'll see. Stir it in the silicone well, and here we go. Okay, but I wonder if I want to add more. Well, there's a lot more color here. Uh, let me go ahead and swipe it this way. Oh dear, I didn't clear the clear the deck at the. Oh, look at that. That's no good. Oh, I'll have to re-swipe. I forgot to clear the, the runway here at the end. I'm going to run into my cups of paint. This is no good. <laughs> look at that silly thing. Uh... I'm not really loving my brown swipe color. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to add silicone to something else. I have um, the most of this blue color. 
I'm going to add just one drop of silicone to it. Oops. Uh, two went in accidentally. That's a lot of silicone for a very little amount of paint. And i got to clean this off somehow. This is a little embarrassing. I was not prepared. Okay, that's going to have to do. Don't forget, clear the, the runway, I call it. Okay, now the blue. we go. Oh my gosh, it's lifting up again in the center. Or maybe not. That may have just been where I had more white. Okay. Well, I don't like that line there. I do like the shape of the, the cells, though. I just have to tilt to get a little more interesting look to this. Stretch these cells out. Get some movement in there. I love this. I love when it does that kind of thing. Pretty sides are a little weird, but uh, it'll pour over. Well, that's kind of interesting. I, I like this part. Maybe I should swipe this way. Because this is kind of ugly, I have to say. But that's pretty. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll go back. Did I leave any? Oh, they're slinky. That's what I'll do. I'm going to clear this end. Sorry, slinky. Can't come in. That way I'll get rid of this uh, line between the blue and the brown. And this is this is pretty, this end. I like that. Maybe I should add... <laughs> Might as well add the other paint. Use it up. I hear you. It's all about experimenting, right? I mean, I don't, I don't practice these ahead of time. You're, you're seeing my experiments. If they're really bad, I won't show them to you. <laughs> but I hear you. Um, 
Someone asked me in a comment on my last video if I would ever consider doing a live auction to sell pieces, and I would if I had enough interest in that. But when I do a premiere, you know, a live premiere video, I don't get that many people, so I don't know. But, oh, I kind of like the way that looks. I don't know that uh, it would be worthwhile to try a live auction. Yeah, we'll do that. And swipe. So let me know in the comments if that's something that uh, would interest anybody. And if there's enough interest, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. And here we go. I wish that was cleaner. Cleaning off the swipe tool. The edge, anyway. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> that's fun. I missed the edge there. I'll have to do a little tilting. That's better. That's much better. Okay. I will uh, tilt to fix this edge and grow these cells a little bit. Yeah, I like, I'm liking what's happening there. So here we go. I hear you. You hear Slinky there at the door? Must be dinner time. I hear you. You can't come in. She sneaks in here every chance she gets, but I try to keep her out. Oh, that's pretty up at the top there with all that yellow. It kind of Gave a stained glass appearance. Oh, I think it's pretty. I don't, I don't, it's so much blue though. That's the only part I don't like, my swipe area. I don't know what to do about it. Yeah, that's pretty in there. I wonder if I can squish that blue section. Make it a little narrower. Come down this way. So just go back and forth the same. It just widens at one end and then the other. And Okay, just a little adjustment here. I think that's a little better. Okay. I think I'm going to call that good. I rather like it, my friends. I hope you do. Let me bring you in for a closer look. It's pretty in there with a kind of um, purpley areas around the cells and the Lovely mixes there. I 
that blue section isn't too bad. I think that the yellow up here looks nice. Yeah, it's pretty. Not what I set out to do, but um, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the result. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I thank you for watching. See you next time.